I get compared to the 27 dresses movie all of the time. I think I probably beat her in the number of dresses I have in my closet. My name is Jen Glantz. I am the founder of Bridesmaid for Hire. I was a bridesmaid almost a dozen times for my friends, but from then, when I was asked to be a bridesmaid many more times that year, and the next year, and the year after, I became pretty good at it. One night in particular, two women asked me to be a bridesmaid, and we weren't super close. I came home, and I told my roommate, and she goes, Jen, you've become a professional bridesmaid. And the lights just went off in my head. This is what I want to do with my life. I want to be that professional bridesmaid. So I went to the one website my mom told me never ever to go to, and that is Craigslist.com. I said to people of the world, I will be your bridesmaid, I will help you pick up your dress when you have to pee, I will dance with your drunk uncle, and I will be there for you for the dirty work that your friends just don't want to be there for you to do. You know, when people first hear that I'm a bridesmaid for hire, their number one thing that they say to me is, what, these brides don't have friends? But you have to take a step back and understand that friendship is very complex. A lot of people in our lives we grow apart from. We're very consumed with our own lives, our careers, our new friends, our own relationships. I remember middle school days and high school days, I was bullied a little bit. I didn't really have a lot of close friends growing up. I always viewed women as being competitors, people who were going to put you down. It was really awesome going to college and joining a sorority where the women around me weren't there to compete. They were there to support me. I had such a tough experience in middle school with girls. I never wanted other women to go through that at any point in their life. That always became just this goal of mine. So these are some of the bridesmaid dresses that I've worn over the past two years. And I hold on to every single dress that I wear because they all tell a story and it helps me just remember this adventure. You know, a lot of what being a professional bridesmaid is, is being a personal assistant, is being the social director, being the peacekeeper. For brides, I have the behind the scenes package where I'm there for you on your wedding day, just behind the scenes. And of course I have a package where I zip on the polyester dress and actually walk down the aisle as your bridesmaid for hire. I also have a maid of honor undercover package where I take on all of your maid of honor duties secretly so that you cannot focus on what becomes a part-time job of being a maid of honor and it's all a secret to the bride. And I <laughs> keep all of my wedding treasures inside of this box. These are things that I take home from weddings and it's oftentimes I can't take friendships home from weddings. I can't really stay friends with because I have a false identity or I'm not who I am. It was really hard for me to find a balance uh, when I first started this business. I decided to totally give up a personal life of my own. I stopped seeing my friends, I stopped having a social life. I'm used to being always the bridesmaid, always the single one, but I never had this urge to rush into marriage or even rush into a relationship with the wrong person. And I think this job has shown me I definitely don't want to be one of those people. It has been an adventure that I <laughs> never dreamed, never imagined would happen, um, all from just being able to have the confidence to put this idea that was so crazy out there to the world. It totally rocked my world. Thanks so much for watching. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube and click here to see another video.